Former Prime Minister of Pakistan Imran Khan has said he is ready to call on Pakistanis for a large-scale countrywide protest movement in a statement released through his lawyers and tweeted from his official account. Mr Khan said, quote, I am about to give the call. The people are ready. They have overcome their fears, unquote, adding the future of the youth is at risk if the constitution is violated. Mr Khan also called on the country's de facto ruler, Chief of Army Staff Asim Munir, not to further the gap between the people and the army. Quote, General Asim Munir, bear in mind where the nation stands and what the public sentiment is, while the military leadership has positioned itself in the completely opposite direction. Unquote. Imran Khan has responded to General Retired Fez Hamid's court-martial terming it an internal matter of the army. He further stated, quote, If there is any attempt to connect his arrest and court-martial to the May 9th events, it's another opportunity to form a judicial commission to inquire into the events of that day, unquote. On May 9, 2023, Imran Khan was violently abducted from Islamabad High Court by paramilitary rangers who vandalized the court and stole the CCTV footage. Mr. Khan has repeatedly called for a judicial commission to be formed and the CCTV footage of all the events of the day to be released. After Pakistani government officials refused to present missing brothers of PTI social media focal person Azhar Mashwani, the Islamabad High Court has issued a contempt of court notice to the Secretary of Defence, Secretary of Interior, Inspector General of Islamabad Police and Director General of the Federal Investigation Agency, FIA, summoning them to appear in person on August 15th. The transnational repression case pertains to the abduction by state agencies of Zahoor and and Mazhar Mashwani, brothers of UK-based Azhar Mashwani. Pakistanis will be celebrating a different Independence Day this year by calling for Imran Khan's release. On the eve of 14 August, nationwide rallies are planned with Pakistanis placing the PTI flag and Pakistani flags on their vehicles to express solidarity with Imran Khan, who has been incarcerated illegally for over a year now. The PTI is the largest representative political party in the country, which was voted in with two-third majority in the February 8th elections, but had its mandate stolen. At least 32 more Palestinians were killed in Israeli attacks in the Gaza Strip, pushing up the overall death toll to 39,929. The occupational Israeli forces began their genocidal bombing campaign on October 7th and have not relented despite a global outrage. In over 10 months into the war, vast tracts of Gaza lie in ruins amid a crippling blockade of food, clean water and medicine. Additionally, there are fears of famine. Corin Flesher, the World Food Programme's regional director for the Middle East and North Africa has said that it is quote-unquote very difficult for the agency to bring in enough food to the besieged coastal enclave.